Imagine a guy who's really into deep and meaningful conversations. That's what a Sigma male is like. He's not into small talk and really wants to chat with people who can get into the nitty gritty of interesting topics. But finding those people can be somewhat difficult. Plus, the stuff he's into isn't what you'd call mainstream, and that can make him feel like he doesn't fit in. People around him are often not on the same wavelength, and they don't really get the depth of his thoughts and interests. This makes him feel like an outsider, because it seems like the world doesn't really value what he's bringing to the table. This may resonate with you if you're a Sigma male. It's like when you're super eager to dive into topics that make your brain tick, but you find yourself surrounded by conversations that just don't go beyond the surface. It can be frustrating and lonely when your passions and interests don't line up with what's popular or what everyone else seems to be into. So if you find yourself nodding along to this, know that you're not alone, and there are others out there who get what it's like to be a Sigma male in search of deeper connections and conversations. This is why Sigma males often struggle with being overly intelligent. They have this awesome brain power, and they really want to use it to dive into complex and intriguing topics. But because what they're into isn't always what the majority is talking about, they can end up feeling disconnected and frustrated. It's like having a supercar, but nowhere to really open it up and see what it can do. This struggle isn't just about finding good conversations. It's also about finding like-minded people who appreciate and understand them. It's not that being super smart is bad. It's just that it can be really tough when it feels like you're swimming against the current in a sea of casual chats and mainstream interests. This is also why Sigma males are often overthinkers. Their minds are like high-speed engines, always analyzing and dissecting information. Because they crave depth and complexity, their brains don't just take things at face value. They ponder over details, possibilities, and implications. This overthinking can sometimes be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can lead to great insights and innovative ideas. On the other hand, it can cause them to get stuck in their own heads, making mountains out of molehills and sometimes creating problems that aren't even there. This overthinking nature, combined with a yearning for profound engagement, can be mentally exhausting and even isolating at times. Finding a balance and learning to channel their overthinking into positive avenues can be crucial for Sigma males. Sigma males have this inner hunger for knowledge, with the need to learn new stuff and understand the world around them. Imagine them surrounded by books or glued to a computer, constantly researching. But here's the kicker. Constantly having your brain in overdrive is like running a mental marathon every single day. It can be exhausting. Overly intelligent individuals often find themselves entangled in a web of endless possibilities and outcomes as they navigate through life's decision-making labyrinth. With their heightened ability to analyze situations deeply and foresee an array of potential scenarios, these cerebral powerhouses can unwittingly become victims of their own intellect through decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is a psychological phenomenon where the quality of the decisions made by an individual deteriorates after making a long series of decisions. In simpler terms, when you have to make too many decisions, especially in a short period, your brain gets tired, and as a result, your ability to make good decisions gets worse. This is, for example, why after a long day of work, if you come home and want to watch a movie, you say, ah, don't put on something too complicated, I just want a simple movie where I don't have to think too much. For the intellectually gifted, the sheer volume of information processed and the weight of understanding the complex intricacies of each decision can be mentally exhausting. Moreover, their tendency towards perfectionism and high standards adds additional layers of scrutiny to every choice. This cognitive overload can ultimately lead to reduced decision-making quality, impulsiveness, or even avoidance of decisions altogether. Understanding the connection between high intelligence and decision fatigue is essential in recognizing the double-edged sword that an exceptional intellect can represent. Here are a few methods for dealing with decision fatigue. First, limit your options. Intentionally limit the number of options you will consider. Sometimes, good enough is good enough. For example, when you are parking your car in the parking lot of a building, such as a mall, 
I recommend pulling into the first open space you see, rather than driving around the parking lot aimlessly looking for that perfect space. This saves you time, and also, parking further away gives you the opportunity to get some extra steps and exercise in on the way. Next, use decision frameworks. Utilize decision-making frameworks or tools such as decision matrices, pro and con lists, or the Eisenhower matrix to structure your thinking. This will help streamline your decisions and hence spend the least amount of time necessary on them. Third, simplify your wardrobe. Reduce the number of choices in your wardrobe. Some successful individuals, like Mark Zuckerberg, wear similar outfits daily to eliminate the decision of what to wear. Finally, prioritize decisions. Recognize which decisions are high stakes and require more thoughts and which ones are low stakes and can be made swiftly. Don't waste mental energy on decisions that won't have a significant impact. For example, if you catch yourself being indecisive over a small choice, such as what brand of wine or food to buy, just grab the first one that appeals to you and see how it is. There is no point wasting large amounts of time pondering between two or more choices. Additionally, Sigma males need to learn how to hit the pause button. Taking time to chill, maybe meditate, go for a walk, or listen to some music is crucial. They need to give their brains a break and find a balance. Now, moving on to their social lives. When a Sigma male enters a room, his smarts and confidence can sometimes make people get the wrong idea. Some folks might think they're showing off or acting superior. There are times when a Sigma male might get into a conversation and things get misinterpreted. It's not usually on purpose, but these misunderstandings can happen. What's the solution? Sigma males can work on being aware of how they come across. Improving communication and building bridges with others can really help. Choose your arguments wisely. Some people just aren't worth wasting your time on. Politely move on to the next person, your head held high, and hope they are a better fit. Now, let's talk about something deep, self-esteem. For Sigma males, a lot of their self-esteem is tied to how smart they are. But putting all your self-esteem eggs in the intelligence basket can be risky. They need to know they're more than just their brain. Engaging in hobbies, making friends, and seeing value in other aspects of life can make them feel more complete. Lastly, let's address the thirst for intellectual stimulation. Sigma males love the brainy stuff, but finding people or hobbies that match their intellect can be like finding a needle in a haystack. The mainstream stuff often doesn't cut it for them, and that can make them feel like outsiders. But here's the thing. Sigma males don't need to change who they are. They just need to find their tribe. This might mean looking in less common places or even starting their own group or club. The key is to stay open to possibilities and keep feeding their intellectual hunger in a way that's true to them. If you've enjoyed this and want to continue on your journey of self-discovery, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also keep watching more videos from the Decoding the Sigma Male playlist we created. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.